It's calm on the streets of Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa, but the country is slipping into a deeper political crisis. On Friday, the government imposed a state of emergency to stem a wave of unrest. The defense minister confirmed on Saturday it will last for six months and includes a ban on protests, gatherings, and publications that incite violence. The state of emergency should not be seen as a military coup. The army is under the federal constitution and it is a tool to implement the government's decisions. The state of emergency procedures are intended to protect the constitution, country and people. The announcement follows the sudden resignation of Prime Minister Haile Mariam Deseleng, who had been in office since 2012. Haile Mariam said his departure as Prime Minister and Chairman of the ruling Ethiopia's People's Revolutionary Democratic Front Coalition was to enable necessary reforms in government. There have been mass demonstrations in Ethiopia's largest regions, Oromia and Amhara, in recent months, with protesters calling for political and economic reforms and an end to state corruption. A 10-month state of emergency ended last year but failed to stop the protests particularly by Ethiopia's youth who have increasingly come to view demonstrations as the only way to bring about meaningful change. Dozens of protesters have been killed and many more injured since 2015. Eskinder Nega is one of 6,000 political prisoners released by the government this year in an effort to ease growing tensions. <laughs> Ethiopia is one large prison. I say this because there is no democracy in the country. This is a dictatorship. We have to change this big prison into a democratic state. Opposition leaders say Ethiopia's ruling coalition has lost its authority. They are demanding all parties be involved in deciding the country's future. Real negotiation. You know, this country is a country of 100 million. It is too big for one political group, you know, for one group, small group uh, to run the affairs of 100 million people. Years of unaccountability and ethnicization of the country's politics have pushed Ethiopia to tipping point. Some say injustice, repression and lack of meaningful democracy have instilled a sense of despondency. Ethiopia's ruling coalition, the EPRDF, is expected to meet within days to choose a successor to Haile Mariam Desalegn. But the stakes are high and jostling for the premiership intense. Whatever the coalition decides will have a huge impact on how Ethiopia is governed. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.